Tehran streets once again became the scene of demonstrations, but this time to voice support for the Islamic establishment and condemn the violence that ensued last week's protests over the jump in gasoline prices. Millions of Iranians gathered in downtown Tehran on Monday, holding banners that read, We hate violence, while separating the line from what they call rioters. <laughs> We are critical of the government's decision and we insist on our demands. But this does not mean that we are against our country. Those infiltrated the protests and vandalized buildings are not with us. They are the U.S. agents. We have come here to voice our support for our leader and despite the economic hardship, we are not giving away our support for the Islamic Republic. Last week's protests broke out after the government increased fuel prices by at least 50 percent, something which came as a shock to Iranians who were already suffering from economic difficulties. But the protests turned violent after a group of people set ablaze gas stations and other properties. The government branded these people as foreign mercenaries or tried to hijack the peaceful protests. This came after Washington expressed his support for Iranians, something which Iranians refer to as tongue-in-cheek. I want to send this message to Pompeo and Trump. Listen carefully. We do not want your sympathy. We Iranians know your real intentions and will never recognize you as our friends. By sanctioning us, you have proved that you are our enemy. Energy is heavily subsidized in Iran. This has resulted in high fuel consumption in the country, which stands at roughly 110 million liters per day. 40 liters above the maximum output required. The government says the new price hike is aimed at moderating consumption rate.